Hello. Hi. We are here for our graduation reflection video, and it is the end of our senior, well, technically, you've finished your fourth year. Yeah. We answered a bunch of questions back in the fall that we're now going to go back and answer again, this time as fourth years, and we have not reviewed the answers in advance, so we are completely unbiased, uninfluenced by our former selves. It's September 27th at 6.53 p.m. We're going to be answering some questions that we are also going to answer in June, but to kind of give our first week of senior year thoughts on these questions, and that way we can see how our answers evolve. And sorry, I'm slightly out of breath still. I just sprinted to go get my laptop because I stupidly forgot it uh, for my microphone to plug into, so. We are here with food, and we are in a random classroom in Ryerson. Yeah. Got our blackboard. All right, let's begin. Okay, so first question. Oh, the sun's out. Good. We we'll we'll taking photos. photos later. Okay. How do you feel about graduating? Scared. <laughs> I'm graduating this quarter, which ended up working out like financially and whatnot. But I think it's still very daunting because everything feels very big and. I don't quite know what's happening with like post grad, all the like regular like schedule and being able to like pick everything and schedule everything into my blocks is kind of going away and so it's just gonna be like a black abyss. So scary. I feel sad. No wait, <laughs> elaborate. I think the last couple of weeks went by very quickly. So I am reluctant to leave and I really love it here. How do you feel about graduating? It's most jarring because last time I was here, I was a second year and now all of a sudden I'm an upperclassman. So it doesn't really feel possible that I should be graduating in the first place. And also first year I was gone winter quarter. So it's just like, I've barely even been here in Chicago and all of a sudden it is final year, which is kind of concerning in regards to the fact that I feel like I still belong in high school and I am not ready to be a graduated person. I feel ambivalent about it. I think that on the one hand, I'm dearly going to miss all the classes. I told Karina it was really depressing, honestly, walking out of my final creative writing class, astronomy class, my final class of all, which was French. But at the same time, I'm also looking forward to what's to come in life. I'm happy about that. I feel like I will miss the people the most. What did you name drop in your essay coming into Chicago that you ended up actually engaging in? I don't remember what I put in my, can I look at my essay for reference? Yeah. Please stand by. For as long as I can... <laughs> Sorry, that was loud. I'm attracted to the University of Chicago. It's For as long as I can remember, I've loved learning. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, why did I say I'm attracted to the University of Chicago? I said, oh, the support for study abroad was something that I that piqued my interest, and I did engage in study abroad. Nice. That one. What about you? Wait, there's more. Studying British literature, did you do that? Did I say that? Yeah. I did. I took a class in Victorian literature. <laughs> nice. Did you do my calf internship? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I said... An attractive feature. Why did I use the word attractive? You do so many table times? tennis. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. You wanted to help produce bite. I, they rejected me, <laughs> so I didn't. Um, yeah, I didn't even put bite. Okay, writers workshop. Nope. Chamber, Chamber music. No. Quiz bowl. No. Symphony orchestra. I I, I, att I attended the symphony okay. orchestra. Chess. I went to like two chess meetings, but it was all guys there, and I felt uncomfortable. Okay, what about you? I wrote about Harper Library. Went in there. Okay, yeah. And what about Kent? I was definitely in Kent. Oh, I wrote about Kent 120. Why did I you was write about Kent? that I visited there and that, that there mm -hmm. were discussions there. So I did actually go to room 120. Grounds of Being. I did go there. Um, seeing Dean Boyer. You should do more locations. I said going to Dean Boyer. That is so cute. Going to Macau. I did not. I did go to Macau, but I did not go for school. But mm -hmm. I went to Hong Kong for something yeah. that was like through University of Chicago. You did like. So I did do yeah, that. Did. Professor Ramsmere. No idea what? who that is. Happy. Yep. Um, big problems. I did not oh take my that gosh, big, big problems, problems class. Classes. Nope. I did not take that. Oh, but the rest, so everything else I did. What advice did you get that you think is bad? Start your own club. <laughs> that is bad advice. Participate in SCAV. Who has time oh, for that? Not that, Not that I did participate in SCAV, but... Interesting. Okay. Mm. Okay. What times and schedules of classes should you choose slash did you end up choosing? I chose whichever ones fit in my schedule that looked good. I didn't choose based on the time usually. I had no choice because yeah. they were usually just one option. What matters more, class or professor? This isn't reflective. Professor. Yeah, professor. What was overhyped before coming in? Uh, scav, RSOs. Scav. Yeah, Scav was overhyped. In Milkshake Wednesdays. Kuvia. Kuvia. Although I think there's a lot of hype about Kuvia. Yeah, a lot of people do it. Yeah. And I guess a lot of people do the milkshakes as well, but... Milkshake I think Wednesday. But like, I think I did it once in second or first first year. Did you ever do it? No, you're lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was funny. What is your most quintessential college experience? It felt very college for the solar, not solar eclipse, the, mm. um, the northern lights 
There were a ton of people up there. It was like late at night. Everyone was standing at the top of Ryerson waiting for the Northern Lights. And they didn't come until 1 a.m. when at least I was gone. I don't know. Recently, I don't know if that's like a quintessential college experience, actually. Mm. But what were you thinking? I was thinking the pop, our graduation party. Oh, yeah. That's, that's quintessential. Yeah. I think going out with the people from my house. I was going to say, I feel like a lot of high house events that you did. Yeah, I think going out to the city from people from my house and then like piling all into one car on our way back felt very mm. college experience. What were your expectations of the difficulty of UChicago versus the reality? I thought it would be hard. And it was hard. <laughs> yeah, I expected it to be hard, and it was. I think it actually varies on the class, because then there are some classes, like, I thought Intro to Python would be easy, and it ended up being one of the hardest classes I took. Mm, that's a good question. And then, like, I thought all the English classes would be easy, and they weren't. I did think every class would be hard, and every class was not. Mm -hmm. That was not the case. Like, not, not every class was hard, but some classes were very difficult. Yeah. What's a skill that you feel like you've gained? How to interview people. For my job and then also yeah. the environmental writing class. Me too. I've had to interview a lot of people. Oh yeah, you have too. Me yeah. too. How to yeah. interview people is a really good answer. And it's a useful thing to know how to do. How to meet people, I think. I think I didn't do that very much before college. What's the most fulfilling extracurricular you've joined? I know what it's not. <laughs> Bite Culinary Magazine. I think that really mm. has improved my like photography and I really like mm. having that you as a creative outlet. Look at the Bite Magazine covers. She is the most talented food photographer I've ever seen in my life. I will put some screenshots right here in the video Wait. somewhere. She's amazing. Thank you. That's so. very sweet. And then unofficial, like, extracurricular, that's, like, not an RSO. I feel like um, High Park Neighborhood Club mm, was, yeah, like, you had a very sweet, that. like, relationships that I've built there. Yeah. What is the most fulfilling extracurricular you joined? Feminist Forum, just because I Positive. had such a, le I had a, leader a leadership position within it. There is quite a bit of initiative that made it feel more rewarding, I think. What are RSOs like? Comma, really? <laughs> I think they're not as popular as they are, were in my high school. Oh, interesting. I think they, like, in high school, you really, like, you lived on, like, RSOs, but I think in college, it's really, like, optional. Mm. I would agree. I, I don't think I, I, I second that. I don't think I have anything to add to it. If you didn't major in what you majored in, what would you choose as an alternative major or second Ooh, major? Oh, this is a good question. I don't remember this one. smart to do that. Oh, what would I major in? Can you answer first? I need to think about it. I don't think I could have majored in anything different to be pre-med. I just don't know that I had the capacity, but I might have wanted to double major in, or at least minor in media arts and design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool. And you're very good at it. I feel like I didn't gain as many of those skills as I wanted to. What about you? Either environmental and urban studies, which is now SIGU, or environmental science, if I wanted to go more the science route, because I think it would be useful if I'm doing environmental law to have the kind of lingo of environmentalism. That would have been cool. I, sh I sh probably should have done that, but too late now. What is the most life-changing class that you took? Kind of, kind of media aesthetics. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel like I referenced like sign index symbol, which was like the first thing we learned. Mm. I referenced that, and obviously, the people yeah. became very important. What about you? I think French. Mm. Life changing. Oh, because thinking of life changing, that's probably the thing I'm going to use most and I'm going to keep working on most that will affect my daily life oh, in the future. I will so not use media aesthetics, but that's super interesting. Media aesthetics. That I wish you had the time. I wish pre-med wasn't so rigorous so you had more time to do that kind of stuff. In the reverse, what is the biggest waste of time that you devoted yourself to? <laughs> the global studies class because I didn't major in global studies and that took up a lot of my time. That was a hard class. What? That was such a good answer. Oh, it was? Okay. Yeah. What, what's your answer? There was a club in first year that I was a part of that I didn't need to be a part of. And also, I guess I never started the global studies concentration. But I think if I had done that, that would have been a waste of time. Because I ended up really liking endocrinology. That's a good answer. What was your essay about? <laughs> it was so weird. I was like, what if you had a college campus that like traveled through time and space? I wrote about the vertical line living a double life as the number one and the letter I. I love that. That's so much more clever. And it was a fever not, not juvenile. <laughs> <laughs> no, your school. I love that. What was the most shocking experience? The most shocking experience is when I got accepted to a lab, had scheduled training, and then the day before I was supposed to start was told that I didn't have the position because they had contacted the wrong person accidentally. I totally forgot about that. that. Was oh my god. Yeah. That was crazy. That was a bad sequence of events. I think probably going an entire year to Bristol. Like, I mean, even though I applied to it, like, it doesn't really seem real until you're there and it's like, huh, I'm going to be here for a year. Mm. What was something unexpected that turned out well? In second year, got accepted to a program in Hong Kong, but then because of COVID restrictions, it got rescinded. Mm -hmm. And I was really sad about it at the time, but I ended up going the following year, which ended up being much better for my, like, personal life and, like, opportunities yeah. there. And, yeah, I was still able to go. Good answer. 
Thank you. I like that. That's very reflective. What was something unexpected that turned out well for you? Going to law school. Because I didn't... Uh, I yeah. didn't... It wasn't until after Just second year... law school. <laughs> I didn't even want to go to law school until after second year. Like, it wasn't even anything I ever considered. I was a late bloomer when it comes to law school decisions. What advice about course... What? It's... I clearly can't write. What advice would you give about courses? Wait. 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 What <laughs> advice... Was, what? Okay. What <laughs> advice do you have about courses slash what would you change about your courses if you were to go back and do it again take a wide variety of courses right from the beginning so that you can find out what you want to do don't pigeonhole yourself take higher level courses earlier they're not as scary as you think they are Hmm. bucket list tasks you crossed off while in college i made a goal to visit 100 restaurants in chicago before i graduated and i did complete that i wanted to visit 100 different restaurants covering 25 different cuisines from a cuisine quota so i could try different types of food that's amazing i'm so proud of you for actually going through doing that okay what is a bucket list task that you crossed off in college? Yeah, I'm doing a books around the world thing. And we're going through it pretty slowly. Like, we're literally only on book nine. Fall, we made a goal for ourselves. And we have to check back the video because we don't remember what our goals were. Yeah, see if we accomplished them or not. <laughs> so if we accomplished them, it was unintentionally. Okay, I kind of remember mine. You do? Yeah. I don't remember mine. But we'll see. We'll okay. see if I remember it correctly. Yeah. Karina Max, circling back. Did you accomplish your goals that you had for senior year? My goal is to host dinner parties. I want my apartment to be a place that's like warm and inviting. I want to try at least like four new recipes. What recipes? Dumplings from scratch, I mm-hmm. think. Um, I think a lot of people have, I made that with a lot of people. I want to make bread again. I don't have a specific type of bread, but I want to try something new. And I, I think in a new kitchen, people will be new. I did host dinner parties. I did host a lot of craft nights. Michaela they were so warm and welcoming like she wanted her apartment to be. And I did try new recipes at all of them. Less dumplings. I did do dumplings and I mostly did a lot of like cookie recipes. A lot of like Eating madelines. snacks. Yeah. Madelines. Cookies. Earl Grey madelines. They were very good. Really good. Yeah, I really enjoyed hosting craft nights and hosting dinners and hosting people at my apartment. Did you accomplish your goals? My goals for senior year. My mom and I have a book club. Um book club of two people we wanted to read books from around the world coming from different regions of the world and i want to start on that book list i'd like to get all good grades and (laughs) i want to see more of chicago i want to take some really interesting classes that i feel like i learn a lot in and that i gain new insightful perspectives on the world in especially like a global context that I may not have thought of before. Oh, well, um, I began my reading bucket list, such a boring goal. I was satisfied with my grades. Do more on campus events. I think I definitely did, at least relative to previous years. See more of Chicago. We went to company. Yeah, we went to company. We went to the conservatory. We went to the Indian restaurant. Yeah, that's a lot for us. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah. This was such a weird answer. I want to take interesting classes with the global context. Um, I did do that. <laughs> I took environmental politics this quarter, oh, which yeah. was especially uh, nice. fascinating, and it affirmed my interest in environmental law. So that That's was a great segue. Positive. Yeah. Oh yeah. So now, okay. Yeah. Post grad plans. My plans are to go to law school. Whoever will accept me, I'm scared I'm going to be rejected by everywhere right now. Um, <laughs> from there, I will be studying environmental law. Possibly. Where are you going, Michaela McGregor? I'm going to Boston University School of Law, and I still intend to study environmental law. So, yeah. And tell us your plans. Tell me your post-grad plans, Karina. (laughs) Why is this so official? (laughs) Right now, I'm applying to medical school. My post-grad plan between when I graduate and hopefully when medical school starts would be to work as a clinical research coordinator full-time. Hopefully by the next time we record this, I will have gotten into a medical school. I'm Post-grad. going to Stritch School of Medicine. She got into medical school. So we accomplished our goals that we didn't quite say because we were scared to say it. Yeah. But those were our goals at the beginning of the year also. That's Except success. we're going to be on the other side of it. We're going to have like a thousand miles in between us, which is the depressing part. But we're not thinking about it. We're pretending it's not happening. So yeah. we're going to have fun. And now we're going to go take some pictures. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, welcome to part one retrospective. Well, no, not retrospective. It's retrospective for future. Do it us. again. Oh, I should like actually move the mic. Sorry. How do no, you? Wait, feel I feel bad. bad. I'm like letting you do all the handwork. I'm like, I'm no, gonna dig I'm in right here. Also, 
How do you feel about graduating? Wait, sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm spilling on my dress. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Cut that out. Sorry. No, no, you're fine. Do you want to take this one first? No. <laughs> Dodo. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Should we do that again? That's okay. I'm just distracted by the light now. I'm going to scratch. Oh my god. What sort of holidays slash events slash celebrations do you want to um, commemorate with your dinner parties that you plan to host? That was a <laughs> clunky way of asking. So not sitting on second row of a car. What does that mean? <laughs> we, yeah. <laughs> Fear of rejection.